as we know, APIs are becoming the most common way to communicate between a web, website, and web servers, as well as between mobile, applications, web services, and so on. As a customer, you want to protect your APIs better. They're often more vulnerable with exposed business logic, and they're more commonly used. In our API security feature, we allow you to define APIs within your site. We do that by simply allowing you to upload your API Swagger files. So here, we can do the uploading. Or you can automate this within your CI CD processes. Once you upload the file, you can then select the default action that will happen whenever a violation occurs. So you can block, and that's either to block the user or to block the request. So for this example, we have three different files within the same site. And we can find different sites based on how your application is defined. Here we can see we have files for order management, file for authentication, general APIs, and so on. When you expand, you can see the different API endpoints in each API specification file. And you can see the action that we've set when a violation happens within that API endpoint. And of course, you can change the default to other actions based on your preferences. You can also see more details for each API specification or API endpoint and see a list of the specific available API violations and the number of times they occurred, as well as the ability to click a button and get to the incident screen and see the specific events that took place. Adding to our single pane of glass approach, these violations are also captured and linked within attack analytics.